Hi folks, Lee Geddes here with the Market Sense for the week of August 8th, 2017. The charts in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis in their Trade Navigator software. Uh, weekly bond market chart here, looking at the big picture, you can see sort of a big long-term double bottom back here that they seem to be kind of climbing up off of, which is interesting considering the Fed keeps saying they're going to keep raising rates. Uh, but so far this week, um, we've had support here in the 153.24 area, which they could possibly be holding, looks like, maybe, possibly, kind of. And if they are, you would expect they'd at least go above 155 here to the uh, to the upper moving average. But they have the, ten the, the possibility of just taking off. I mean, the older swing high is 57.08, and actually that doesn't have to cap them off either. Uh, of course, if they get something they don't like, this week in news or whatever, uh, I'll move back down here to 152.08. The lower moving average here wouldn't be a complete shock. Just put them in the vicinity of the lows of the last three weeks. Uh, so uh, the last three weeks really haven't done much. So if they're going to explode up, though, you would think holding this support could be the indication that they'll do that. And if that is, in fact, the low made already for the week, then higher prices are probably going to follow. In stocks, uh, again, big picture, we're looking back to the election night low here and the move up off of that, which has been pretty doggone relentless. This week has shown kind of like a spike up that's been rejected so far. Now, that looks rather negative there. It really does. But at the risk of repeating myself incessantly, this is new all-time highs, and you will not make a living trying to sell markets at new all-time highs all the time. The support here, uh, 2468, they come down to that after making the high. They could still hold it. Uh, if they do break lower, I think we want to look at the 2456 area here as potential support. Uh, last week was very tiny, so uh, that sort of tends to lead to breakout moves on the following bar. And this one looked like a breakout to the upside, which now looks like it could be failing. Now, if that's the case, then a, a move lower could occur. And, and oh boy, as hard as this has rallied up, they could be down here below 24, 24, 20 in no time and really wouldn't look that bad. Even if they broke that hard, it'd still look like a pretty bullish move. But for now, we want to see if they'll hold this 2468 area or if they're heading down to 2456 and if they will hold that. Either one would still be a good sign, even though it Looks a little negative the way they got rejected from that 2488 area up there at the high. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get yourself into.